Good morning, good morning, good morning, guys. This morning, we're here again, giving thanks for another wonderful day that the Lord has given to us. And today, we are still growing. We are still believing. We're still having faith. And we're still trusting. I want to really take you around a little bit today and show you faith with works. Come along with me. So, guys, here we are. Faith and works together in harmony i trust that by planting these seeds they will grow <laughs> so i stick them in the soil and i did the work and then i just waited i watched anticipating that they will take root and that they will grow now here is the process now had i watched the weather I would not plant because sometimes it's very very hot sometimes it's very very cold sometimes you have all kind of storms worms everything <laughs> wildlife coming at the seed you know but we trust that it will grow and it is doing so we have set, we have um, set the, the trellis, like just set nails, nails here, and set the plant in motion to follow the nails, and it is doing so. And um, yes, we have different severity in our weather, but nevertheless, we grow. <laughs> We can't always control <laughs> the uncontrollables. But one thing that we are persuaded and convinced that will happen as long as the earth remains, it's seed time and harvest. So therefore we plant. We plant expecting that the ground will yield. So I just wanted to show you that today this is after the heavy rain. This is after the wind. And this is after some days, the brutal sun. But they are still growing. <laughs> and we're not even going to talk about <laughs> the other worms and stuff. But they're growing. Yes, sometimes a little, you know, dented and torn from the harshness of its surrounding but nevertheless it is growing are you growing what are you growing <laughs> i have transplanted this one uh three times three or four times i got in uh, it is called the citronella plant I got it in a pot, I took it out of a pot, I put it two place in the ground, it didn't grow. I got it back in a pot and now again we're giving it another chance to grow. Don't just give up the first time because you face difficulties. Continue, be persuaded, be convinced, be deliberate, be intentional about growing, you know, and um, see, just see what will happen because there's more to this than just you and me so guys here we are this is a tomato tree this is another one it's blossoming can you see those and um, these beans have <laughs> been through only god knows but they're still trying to grow have you give your dream a growing chance and I'm gonna show you what happened okay these are the things that are fighting literally to do what they're supposed to do and that is to grow and you can see that everything had the same soil but some have started they were planted the same day take a look at that one all the way up there it already have two leaves the other one beside it something eat off its leaf the, that one is just coming up out of the ground this one is breaking forth 
as you can tell here this one something comes in and eat it off this one is still striving but they are all one purpose including what the farmer or the gardener has in mind and that is to see them grow <laughs> hallelujah he is working for your good and guys as we take a walk through my little backyard gardening i wanted to drive home the encouragement or the operative word here to trust trust in everything you do is gonna have opposition you're gonna have opposition whatever you do is gonna face opposition but that is never a reason to quit or not try yes i'm going to show you some other things that i have planted and um they're trying and i'm having the faith that they will grow and whatever happened will be the lesson that i learned in between the process not in between the process but in between the end result because here in the middle is the process so let's see some things are easier to grow than some. Some things are, require more attention, more time. This, um, I think they call this Italian oregano. This didn't even have root. We just stick it in the ground. It's very coarse and it's doing fine. My basil on the other hand, they get very special attention. It's either too hot, not enough sun, um, all that kind of stuff going on with them. But this is my little greens or veggie um, raised bed. And if the rain is too heavy, it beats them down. Insect and wildlife tend to like them because they're nutritious. So they they are fighting to grow but there is oppositions everywhere <laughs> but nevertheless <laughs> we still go ahead and plant okay we got what do we have here we have potatoes in a container growing and then we have an avocado seed they are coming up very very well very very well what we got here to see something happening and I watch I watch I watch I watch I watch I watch um, I have taken off some of my papa leaves because of the wind the heavy wind that came in with Ivan or Ian 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 sorry and the leaves were just looking blighted and I just picked them off I just picked them off and guess what's over here also growing this one here is oh what is it okra and i know i'm getting ready to see something happen in there i'm so excited i have some other container here that's growing more potato this is sweet potatoes um that's regular potatoes yes and we even have some carrots growing over here and some pepper we have some cherries and we have my one sorrel that was given to me and i'm really hoping to find some sorrel this season oh my goodness this one here is just going to be a great start all right but um you get the concept and today i just wanted to share a little tour of my garden and to show you that we are growing. Yes, are we not faced with circumstances and situation? Yes, we are. But we are growing. We are growing. This one lost, all the leaves were dried up and I know the root was good so I was like, oh my God, we gotta give it another chance again. We gotta go again, we gotta go again. And we did. <laughs> and we did. 
this one I just replanted this one and this one everything is eaten off it's springing back again I mean I don't know if it's a squirrel or what but everything just got eaten down and I'm like you gotta be kidding me Jesus but yeah <laughs> yes 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 and look at that uh, say good morning hey Some of my plants, I, um, this is another easy grower, but some of my plants, the, the weather can be too harsh. So container allows me to move them and shift them from, protect them from any form of severe weather. So I find that container planting for me this season is working. What is working for you? Because sometimes it's not everything that works for everybody, but there is always a way. Find what is working for you. And when you find that, master it. And then multiply. Multiply that over and over and over again. Teach it. Here they are. I found out that something was just chopping off these these um, peppers, just eating them down. And I was like, nope, not gonna happen. So I kept them in a container. Still have a little bit of bugs and it looked like white flies or something was on them. But I don't know if you can see that. But I tried to spray them and see if that will work. giving them a fighting chance. This is my ginger. Uh, this is bell pepper again. And hot peppers, gingers. And these are all in containers because I have more control over them that way. And just like us, or our dreams or our children need special care, so does plant. What we find out is that we learn. As we grow, we learn. As we grow, we learn. So make sure that you are, you're, you're, you're absorbing the lessons so you can help the next generation. While we plant for different reasons, and we have our favorites, we all plant in order to see it grow. Nobody plant to have something die. <laughs> We plant expecting that it will grow. That's the faith we have, right? And you have um, gardeners that are very passionate and will go through the extent to give their plant a fighting chance. Um, this is a Christmas plant, a poinsettia. I believe we got this poinsettia just in pot from a store for last Christmas. We at the time had to winterize it, bring it inside in a container and no, I think it, this is his first life in the ground. Um, we have planted it so many times because where we put it is not ideal. So we keep removing it and removing it and removing it. At one point, all the leaves would, would crunched up like this, just crunched up. And we just, we're like, what? It's not giving it a fighting chance. It's not, it's not allowing, I'm gonna show you, the leaves were like this, and then you can tell that it's something eating that, right? So the leaves were like this, and we're like, oh no, 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 no. Something is happening, and we need to, to figure it out we put it in this area right here which is ideal but it took us a while but we did not stop <laughs> here's another one i got this i traveled with this i take a plane with this and here it is and when i got it it was this tiny this is leaf of life or we know it as leaf of life i do not know the, the scientific name for it but again this one as been winterized we traveled with it we replanted it we potted it at one time and here it is surviving and you'll be surprised how at times survival 
how it works, you know, because things are set in motion and in place by the creator and he understands all of this. And then you have things like this. This is a surrogacy. Nobody planted it there. Don't even know how it got there. And I didn't have to do anything to it. And it's growing. Because it, it's, it has that quality. It doesn't need that care. And I bet you it's trying to find somewhere to run to. But that's just how it is. So you have to learn your product. You got to learn. Have the information about what you're doing. But just wanted to share with you and in closing i want to say that not every plant growing every soil not everything is good for everybody and not anyone of everything amen but we have something and there is somewhere that you are designed to grow and bear and be fruitful find that place find that soil and grow find the place that facilitate your growth and continue to grow we have plants here that are great for the condition that they are in but they find the right plant find the right soil and they are growing don't let anything stop you from growing and producing and when you do that continue to multiply all right from grow earth we just want to say have a wonderful day and we love growing with you